Welcome to the program, Trip Tobin, the manager of the Post 14 Hornets. Trip, how are you today? I'm great. So how are you? We're doing well. Doing good. All right. Season just about to get started, Trip. Uh, obviously, it's a quick turnaround from the end of the high school season into Legion season. But uh, I guess what can you tell us about the team this year and, and some of the guys you have coming back and some of the newcomers? Well, I mean, as far as a program as a whole, I mean, you know, we lost about uh, a dozen players to either uh, aged out mainly or, or moved on to uh, other things. But I think we, we certainly retooled with a, a pretty good freshman group in the junior uh, on the junior team. And then we've added some, uh, you know, some pretty good arms and, uh, you know, some, some guys on the senior team that's going to help us try to try to repeat. As you just mentioned, being able to repeat as you guys are the defending state champions, uh, just talk a little bit about how much last year's season as a whole for both the senior and junior program winning states meant to kind of jump into this season. Well, I mean, it, it, the experience, you know, the experience that, that we had there last year and, and the, the road that it took to, to be a state champion, you know, a very competitive summer schedule, uh, you know, a lot of guys buying into their roles, um, you know, some POs in that particular uh, season. Um, but just a tremendous offensive team last year that had a, had a pretty good pitching staff. Uh, we struggled a little bit with free bases, but we were able to overcome that when, the, you know, when we needed to. And, um, you know, so I think all in all it was a well-rounded team. You know, there was a, there was a few times where our pitching had, uh, you know, let us down a little bit with um you know, some free bases. We struggled with our command at times, but um, that, but we, you know, Coach Sam Walls, Coach Ryan Childs, you know, both high-level pitching coaches were able to work with those guys and get things turned around at the right times. And, uh, you know, but, you know, overall, that was a really a good offensive team that was able to overcome, you know, uh, some deficits at times and, and to carry our team uh, when we faltered in other places. But, this year, I think it's a little bit different. I think the pitching staff is very strong, very experienced, and, um, you know, based on what they were able to do, you know, this past season, I think we're going to see uh, a very strong pitching staff that's able to, you know, keep teams um, down and not put up a lot of crooked numbers. Trip, who do you think is going to stand out as some of those guys at the at the top of the the rotation? You mentioned the the strong pitching you expect this year. Uh, obviously, some of the guys from from last year's team that that aged out that won't be back, we won't see. But who do you think is going to be leading the way uh, in terms of the the pitching staff that you just mentioned gave praise to? Certainly, you know the you know you're looking at look at look, look at Carson Booper did this year. You know he, he'll be one of the top pitchers. Caleb Fletcher, uh, you know he's going to you know come back. Uh, he's got an in-state transfer or release from uh, Woodgrove to play. You know back with us again. Um, we've added Connor Chancy, who's been a you know a great uh, pitcher up there at, at Musselman. He you know chugs along, does his thing, pounds a strike zone, and pitches contact. He's going off to college and uh, West Liberty. So also you know Lane Lauder, we've seen him all year long and and his progression and where he's at today. I think he's going to be. Of course, I don't think I know he's going to be part of that that that, that pitching staff. Um, one, one guy, a couple of guys that we that we added, of course. I mean, well, Casey Myers last year pitched the first game in the last pitch of the state tournament. We expect big things out of him this year as he's headed off to Hagerstown Community College, and um, you know, I think he's going to take on a role of a PO and put the bat away and, and go ahead and and uh, and take that as a career path. But um, we added Riley Morgan. That's going to be big. Connor Chancy added him. That that's going to be really big. Um, we've got some guys at the from the junior level that can certainly pitch. We've seen what Connor Smith can do and what Jet Gross can do. Expect those guys to come up at times and, and help out. So it may be possibly, you know, be on that tournament uh, uh, roster at the end of the year, depending on how things play out. Uh, but this year's junior uh, Legion team, the, the rules have changed a bit where you can do a roster those young men anytime you're, you're missing a guy or, or a couple of guys for a vacation or, or what have you. You can bring some guys up and it doesn't uh, you know affect your roster this year. So expect to see those guys as well. So I think the depth in pitching is tremendous. And, and what the junior team has is 
you know, it's just as as big. We also might see Grant, Hen- or excuse me, uh, Grant Henderson, you know, come up and pitch. He threw a great bullpen yesterday at the senior practice. Uh, we, we have a lot of arms, which allowed me to schedule a lot of games this year because if you got pitching, you know, it's fun to play and watch that EPAC group hit and, and play defense behind you. And Trip, um, you know, the season gets going tomorrow for your senior team. The junior team's already started. I think they have a game today as well. But uh, just overall, you know, you're starting with Waynesboro tomorrow, um, a team that you're very familiar with. Uh, since you've played them in the past, what are some things that you're expecting from that game tomorrow? What are you hoping to see from the guys? I want to pitch, you know, we're, we're not going to stay with one guy very long. We're gonna, some guys haven't been on the mound for a while. Everybody wants an inning or two to get prepped up for Morgantown this weekend. We've, we're headed to Morgantown Friday. Uh, the juniors play at 1130 in the morning Friday, and the seniors play at 7. So both teams will be down there on a weekend trip to Morgantown or, or over there, up there, however you want to look at it. But uh, So I think tomorrow we're going to throw a lot of guys. You know, you're going to see – you know, you're going to see those guys that haven't pitched in a while. Like, probably, you know, more more than likely you'll see Lane and Connor Chancy and Myers and, and Fletcher and, you know, whatnot. Um, those guys will go a couple innings or, or an inning each and, you know, just get their, get back up on the mound there. And um, you might see Carson an inning. But um, for the most part, we're just going to kind of go Johnny staff, give everybody an opportunity to get up there and get their feet wet. And uh, we're going to turn this offensive team loose and, um, Braden Oviedo and J.J. Pavanelli probably anchor down the left side some tomorrow. And, you know, we got uh, Cam Moore and Landon Sifford back as catchers. You know, you'll see them maybe split the game. And, Pol- and Michael Poltar as well coming in as a utility guy, mainly catcher. Um, see him move around the field. But, uh, you know, uh, we just, uh, you know, we, we, we're, we're happy to have Jordan Candy back and out of anchoring down that outfield. We're happy to have Cole Lewis over from Jefferson to, uh, you know, to find a spot out there and, and play some defense and hit for us. And, you know, we just feel like that we were able to uh, retool pretty good. You know, we lost a tremendous amount of really good baseball players to uh, to aging out and then other things. And, um, you know, but I believe that those guys set an example um, and, and, and set the tone for what the expectation is. Trip, you just listed off a bunch of players that we've seen either this year and years past with some incredible talent at the high school level and even at the college level now. And we ask you this year and year out whenever Legion baseball comes around of the approach that you try to take to allow all the players in your organization the chance to showcase their talents on a game in, game out basis. So what's the question? So kind of that. just the approach that you take, uh, trying to make sure that everybody gets the opportunity to showcase themselves because of the depth that you have, but at the same time only getting nine guys on the field well, for one game. Well, I think you play a lot of games. You know, you, you don't shy away from games. You know, you just, you, you know, it, it's it's a it's a quick, uh, I mean, it's a, a lot of games in six weeks um, I think to get wherever we're at, but to get a lot of reps. Um you know, there's a couple ways to look at it. Some would say, you know, you maybe should practice more and, and what have you. But, you know, they have winter workouts, things like that. The summer they're looking to get a lot of reps in, quality competition. Um, you know, as long, you know, having that pitching staff allowed us to, you know, take just about every game that, that came our way for the most part. So I think the most part is just to, to play a lot of games, get into weekend tournaments where you could possibly pay – you know, three to five games in three days so that you can, uh, you know, get those guys in and um, try not to chase wins so much as as, as, uh, as try, more try to chase uh, opportunity and, and innings and that type of thing um, and make sure those guys get seen. And then the guys that aren't signed or, you know, looking for some exposure, you know, we certainly want to get those guys out there when we have, you know, scouts in the area. Um, Look for you know Salem and 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 some of those uh, colleges up north there um, to uh, possibly be in the area, Fairmont State at, at the um, at the Morgantown tournament. So that could play into a factor of who pitches and who plays. But mainly to give them all opportunities is you have to have a lot of games on your schedule, and uh, and I think that's that's what you do there. And then of course you're going to have guys out with uh, different things. They have this summer. They have picnics and family reunions and vacations and, and whatnot to 
to go to, so we're not always going to have 18 guys in the dugout on either team. Trip at the end of the season, post-14 in Martinsburg, gets to host the state tournament. What does that mean to you and to your team? Well, I think it means a lot, you know, to the program and, and, and to what we've been able to do as far as partnering up with, you know, the Martinsburg Baseball Boosters and the administration there and the head coach there, Aaron Baller, you know, the improvements we've made there and, uh, you know, to, to have the opportunity to post that, um, you know, Aaron takes tremendous pride, Coach Baller takes tremendous pride in that field and every improvement that's made there is a, uh, is well taken care of and it's there you know for the for the long haul there's a you know th there's just a great pride in that facility and people who come there you know talk about how wonderful a facility it is for that you know for the high school level and for the legion level so i think it says a lot for what we've been able to do for you know for the field for the community for the for the guys playing legion for the guys in the epac to come there and be able to play on on a wonderful field but um and, you know, I think I think post, it puts post-14, you know, on the map. I mean, there's off Charleston, Bridgeport, Morgantown, Wheeling. You know, those those are some of the big teams that you hear about when you uh, talk about West Virginia American Legion baseball. And I think now post-14 is also in that conversation. And, Tripp, uh, WVU advancing in the college baseball tournament. Uh, Kyle West, of course, playing for the Mountaineers now, and he's doing some great things this season, being a big part of that team. Yeah, he's done some great things, you know. I mean, they, uh, that West Coast Regional sure has cost us all a lot of hours of sleep, but sure has been fun to watch and watch Coach Maisie and, and, and what they were able to do out there. And, and uh, you know, they just uh, – there's no, no quit in that group, and they're, they're really fun to watch. And Kyle's just a tremendous athlete. He's been uh, – you know, he's – He's very humble. I mean, he, he's a first guy to shake a hand when someone comes to WV or Morgantown to, to watch a game and and and, and uh, have a conversation. He you know he, he answers texts and uh, you know he's just a just a really uh, great uh, human being, a, a great young man, and and we're just proud and of him and what he's accomplished. And certainly, no one can uh, hang their hat on his accomplishments or or. Um, you know, say, you know, I coached him or didn't coach him or things like that. And, you know, what Kyle did, Kyle, Kyle did uh, with a lot of uh, practice on his own. And, you know, we were just happened to be lucky that uh, he played for post-14 for a couple years and and just just proud that he was part of that organization and, and part of our community and the, and the Hedgeville community is extremely proud of him. And, He's been a big, uh, he's been big out there at the little league with those guys, and uh, a lot of young, a lot of young men look up to him, and uh, not many men, uh, not many better to look up to than Kyle West and what he's accomplished. All right, Trip. Anything else before we let you go? I'd just like to, you know, quick blurb you with the junior team. The senior team gets a tremendous amount of, you know, uh, publicity, but there's some really good guys coming in, came in over there, uh, you know. James Moore, which is Cam Moore's little brother, is going to be there. Jackson Earl has you know, come in from Washington, and Marshall Derrick, and Ace Cosner from from Musselman, and uh, just a tremendous amount of guys there. And uh, you know, we got back some some fellows uh, on that team as well, and they're looking to do the same thing. Their goals to repeat are are the same as our senior goals, and. Uh, I just think that that group is very, very talented with uh, you know, Sven Dupree and Robbie Lopez and his little brother Ryan has also joined the group. But we also have a couple guys that are juniors this year, like Cole Smith and Will Pavanelli and Brett Patterson that, uh, you know, that are going to kind of play up and down. And we just can't wait to see what, what that brings. And uh, so we got a, a Liam Healy from Jefferson and Bradley Loper from Marsburg. So we lost some guys on the top end, but I think we uh, we also replaced some guys with you know with, J with JJ and Riley and Connor, and those guys are going to bring to the senior team. And what you know when we move these, there's Connor Smith and uh, Jet Grosses and uh, Flex Danners and those guys and and Brett Pedersons and Braylon Edwards. Those guys filter through the junior into the senior. I just really proud of the team that. Uh, the guys that showed up in the freshman class and uh, and kind of retooled that bottom, I just really am proud of the. I think it's going to show some longevity, and I think post 14 is going to be competitive for for a long haul.